All right. And I think at this point we have acquired enough knowledge to start working on our first project, the Amazon best sellers, effectively a list of best selling books. And of course, in the process, we'll cover more interesting react topics. For example, how to add CSS, how to handle images, what are the props, just to name a few. And our goal is to implement some of the features from this Amazon page. Now, of course, we're not gonna recreate the whole page, but the main features we'll try to recreate using React. And we're going to start actually with the structure. So in the index.js, I want you to create a book component, where technically you can call it whatever you want. And then in there, let's just set up three components. Now I can tell you right away that later we will refactor to one component, to only one book component. We're starting this way, just because I want to emphasize one more time. The way you set up the application is really up to you. There is no rule that says you have to do one way or the other way. If you want to create component for every single element, you can definitely do so. If you want to jam your entire application in one component, that's also an option. So a lot of times it really comes down to a preference. So first, we'll create three components. Notice effectively we're just returning some elements here. And then eventually we will refactor it. So I have the book component. In there I have a few more components. And then I have book list component, which we actually render. So this is the one that we pass into a render. So let's set up this one and then we'll get the values from the Amazon. So first let me navigate to the index one. So at the moment I have this greeting and all that. I will need this. I'm gonna go with const and let's start over here with book and list. So that's my component. Essentially it's going to be a section. So let's set up a return over here. And for now, it's going to be an empty section. So there's not going to be anything in there. Then let's remove these two. And now let's set up that book component. So const book, that's the component. As far as return, we're going to go here with an article. So we're setting up the article for the book. And then inside of the book component, we'll render three more components. And also, in a process, I want to showcase that yes, essentially, we can nest as many levels deep as we want. So notice in here we have book list, then book is going to be rendered inside of it. And then inside of the book, we'll have three more components. And let's start, I guess, over here with an image. So I'm going to go here. And since we don't have the values yet, I'm going to provide the heading too. But eventually, of course, it's going to be a proper image element. So let me change this. And I'm going to go with heading two. And let's just say image place holder. Now, I'm purposely showing multiple ways how we can set up the components. So notice this is going to be implicit return. But we can also set up the explicit one. So first, let me change around and say that the second one is going to be title. And here we're looking for the heading two. So that doesn't change. We only want to change the content and I'm just going to write here title. And then the last one is going to be the author author. And in order to make it more interesting, let me just cut it out. Let me set up the curlies and let's go with return. As you can see, the result is exactly the same. We'll have some elements rendered on the screen. It really comes down to our preference. So it's not going to be a image placeholder. We'll type over here author. Let's save it. And we want to move up. Now we want to render all three components. So let's start with image. Then we want to go with our, I believe what title over here. And then last one is going to be the author. And then in the book list, let's move up. And let's say that we want to render a book. For now, let's just render one book component and then We'll worry about the rest of them. 
So let's save. Um, in here, I still have the greeting, so I want to change that one around. Let's go with book list. Once we save, check it out. So this is the result. Essentially, I have these three elements rendered on a screen. And we can definitely see that if we go to elements. And notice here, this is the root. Like I said, this is going to be our entry point. And then I have the section, and in there I have the article. And before we even get the values, let me showcase something really cool. So in React, if I just copy and paste, basically, if I set up more instances of this book component, notice. Now, of course, they're right away rendered on the screen. And what's even more cool, if let's say I decide that, you know what, it's not going to be a book title. What if I want to go with title of the book? And save it and check it out. All the component instances right away have that value. Again, really, really cool that we don't need to run around and change those values manually. Effectively, we just change it in one place and we're good to go. So we're done with the structure. Now let's go back to README and see what we need to do. So essentially, you have a few options. You can go to your search engine and type. Amazon best selling books, or you can follow this link. Now, of course, if by the time you're watching this, the link doesn't work, I mean, the companies change their resources quite often. So if you navigate to this link and it doesn't exist, then of course you'll have to search for it. The reason why I'm providing the link is simply because that way you can work with the same exact list. Since Amazon has quite a lot of those lists out there. Now, you'll still be able to follow along, don't worry about it. I'm just saying, just in case you wanna work with the same exact list, I'm providing a link. And before we continue, let me make something extremely, extremely clear. You won't have to buy anything there. Again, you won't have to buy anything from Amazon. And second, this is not some kind of lame attempt to trick you into using an affiliate link. This is not an affiliate link. It's literally just the URL to the list that I'm using. I want to make this extremely clear. And essentially, we're just using it because I don't want to come up with these values. I want to provide the real values. So once I'm done with this boring rant, now let me navigate to my list. And again, you can actually copy and paste here or you can click command and then follow the link. Just remember that if you have the same setup, it's going to open over here. So of course, that's why I'll grab this one, navigate, copy and paste. And unless by the time you're watching the video, Amazon has already removed the page, this is what you should see. Obviously, your values might be different, but the idea is going to be exactly the same. And effectively, this is where we want to grab those values. I want to start with image, then I want to get the title. And after that, I want to get the author. Now I'm going to open them because it's going to be easier to copy and paste the values. And let's start with an image. So essentially, here's what we want to do. We're going to go to copy image address. And once it's saved in the clipboard, let's navigate back to index.js and where we have the placeholder. Now let's go with that image tag. And then let's provide those values. So in here, we want to go with the source and source is going to be equal to whatever URL we have in a clipboard. And then as far as the alternative, well, I'm going to provide the title for that. So in order to get the title, I already opened a book in a new tab. So let me navigate here. Now I'm not going to grab the whole thing. That's kind of a overkill. Let me just copy and paste here the title and the same here with the heading two. And lastly, we want to get the author, which I believe the fastest way is just to copy like this. So let me provide here where I have the heading for. Let's save it. And yes, it's gigantic and all that. Don't worry. We'll add a little bit of CSS later. And essentially, we'll fix the issue. Again, the cool thing is that since we set up multiple book instances, you can right away see that they're rendered on a screen. And whatever changes we'll make in the individual components 
will right away be displayed on the screen. Now, we don't need that many book instances. So you know what? For now, why don't we just leave four? Simply because we'll be setting up a grid layout pretty soon. So if you have the same result, we're good to go. And in the next video, we'll take a look how we can add CSS to our React project.